Tycoon in this case has turned an approver, brewing trouble for Mahua Moitra. Clearly, Indrajit Kundu is with us, and so is Palmi Saha joining us for the very latest. First to you, Palmi. Talk to us a little about the former columnist of a well known newspaper, goes by the name of Jay Anand Dehar Drai, and his involvement in all of this against whom a defamation case has been filed already. Well, Jay Anand Dehadrai is a lawyer. He practices in the Supreme Court. He is the complainant in this case. He has approached the CBI saying that he has evidence that Moha Moitra, in fact, received bribes and luxury items as gifts from Darshan Hiranandani to target the Adani group in Parliament. That Darshan Hiranandani was using her Parliament credentials, her login credentials, to access the Lok Sabha website and post questions, posing, of course, as Moha Moitra on her behalf, which Darshan uh, Hiranandani has corroborated, in fact, in that statement that he released, that letter which he says is a sworn affidavit that he released yesterday, claiming that he sent it to the Ethics Committee and to the CBI as well. Both the organizations, of course, and institutions are yet to confirm receipt of the same. Vinod Swankar, of course, you heard, said that he's not received uh, that letter yet. So that is what Ajay Anand Dehadrai is uh, saying at the moment. He, of course, uh, after Darshan Hiranandani's statement says that truth prevails, he now additionally has said that he was being coerced into withdrawing his complaint last afternoon by a quote-unquote messenger sent on behalf of the TMC member of parliament, Moa Moitra, in exchange for the dog that the couple shared because he is uh, the ex-boyfriend of uh, Moa Moitra's that the couple shared and are fighting over custody for, that he was in fact coerced to withdraw his complaint. In exchange for that, he said, no way, I'm going to pursue the truth and I'm going to see this to its logical end. So that is who Jayanand Dehadrai is and he will be appearing before the Ethics Committee on October 26, Sneha. Yes, Paul, I'm just going to come back to you in a moment from now. Inrajit Kundu also is with us from Kolkata. Inrajit, give us a sense of what is the TMC planning slash thinking vis-a-vis -vis Mahua Moitra. Given that until, uh, you know, a few hours ago or one day ago, this was just an allegation. Mahua Moitra said it's a political allegation. Let the CBI go ahead and investigate. Now, there is an approval in this case. This is truly embarrassing for the TMC. Well, uh, no doubt about it. It is uh, going to be a huge embarrassment for the Trinamool Congress. Uh, as far as the Trinamool Congress leadership is concerned, they are well seized of the matter, uh, Sneha. However, the Trinamool has taken a very uh, nuanced stance right now. They're saying that, uh, you know, the party doesn't want to react on this matter. In fact, a diktat has been given to its, uh, you know, uh, parliamentary party leaders, all the MPs, not to uh, speak out on the matter right now and let Mohua Moitro handle the matter herself. And that is exactly what we have seen happening. Mohua Moitro uh, obviously coming out as defiant. Last night when the uh, letter of uh, Mr. Hiradandani surfaced, the sworn affidavit as the Polami spoke about, uh, Mohua Moitro, of course, referring to that as a letter, she said that it doesn't look like an affidavit. Who is he sending to? Because he's neither uh, being probed by the CBI or any other investigating agency. So what affidavit is that? Uh, she is questioning the veracity of the document. And she has made uh, certain very, very grave allegations. She has said that uh, the contents, the draft of that is to Darshan uh, stamp that has been drafted from PMO. And she is alleging that it was done at gunpoint. There was pressure that was uh, exerted by PMO on the business tycoon, clearly because they have business interests in several other states, like BJP rule states and UP, uh, and therefore they had no other choice but to sign that letter. So they're saying that this is nothing but political coercion on behalf of the BJP. Moha Moitra, on her part, uh, is uh, in her own Lok Sabha constituency uh, in Krishnanagar, uh, which is in Nadia district. Remember the Durga Puja celebration start from today? All uh, leaders, of course, in their own constituencies, taking part in the celebrations. There is a possibility that Moha Moitro might come to Calcutta later in the day, but at this point in time, she remains defiant. She has issued a statement, and uh, she has also refuted the claims uh, that there was some buzz that a party has asked her to resign.